I just want me to start this all over again? <laughs> all right. Yep, shoot. Shoot, if you've got a question, ask it. All right, I'm not, all right. DB path, where do your databases live? Varlib, MongoDB, right? This is standard, it's not uncommented. Your logs, your bind IP address, right? You wanna put this on your external IP, right? And then the port that you want it to actually bind on. If you're in production, you don't want this. Right, because then that gives it access to everybody and their, and their brother on this one. All right, so you do not want that. Journaling, if you want to do journaling, that's okay. CPU, yes, you want to do periodic logging of CPU and IO wait because you don't want things to bog down on this. Right. Turn on or turn off security. Right now, off is the, is the default. We don't want to turn on any kind of security. When we go into production, we want to turn on security, and we'll cover that in a little bit because securing your database is how important? you don't want to be target, right? You really don't. You don't want to be Neiman Marcus. You don't want to be anybody else. Logging, verbose logging can override a lot of stuff. It will literally log everything, right? If you want to check validity and receipt for data, you always want to have this on, on, inspect all client for validity, right? I'm just going to go ahead and say, yeah. Yeah, because users will do horrible things to your database. So uncomment, object check, true. All right? Enable DB quota management. We're not going to do any kind of quotas here. Right? But if you're on something like Flickr, there's a quota of one terabit for every person that's on Flickr. And that one terabit is a quota. Right? And just because I'm at 990 gigabits of that terabit quota means I don't really like quotas today. Because now I've got to go back and delete stuff. Op logging. I would do three for both. You don't have to right now. But the reason why is because if you're bogging down somewhere, you can find out if it's reads or writes. And you can find out if you need to split your database, one copy for read, one copy for write. And then do a refresh rate across the board on that one. So that you can kind of figure out where you're bogging down in terms of the performance of your box. Right? Diagnostics, if you want to do diagnostics and debugging, I would only do this in test, never in production. Right? Ignore query hints. I'd go ahead and leave that commented. If you're in production, disable the HTTP interface. All right. Turn off server-side scripting. Your server-side scripting, that's going to be a lot of stuff that your administrator is going to do, right? your database guy. So if you turn off scripting on your database administrator, A, you're going to cheese them off. B, it can be kind of a fun prank to pull right before release of a production system. All right. And you can also check and see if your DB guy is actually really good because then he can turn around and say, hey, why did you turn off scripting? Right? It's a lot easier to manage this box if you have scripting on. All right? Turns off table scans. Any query that would do a table scan fails. Anybody know what a table scan is? If user equals admin or one equals one. Right? It's going to scan an entire table looking for a user equals admin or one equals one. 1 equals 1 is always true, so it's going to drop any users you've got right off to the screen. So this is kind of a security feature. If you don't want someone to go and scan the entire contents of an entire table, then you would turn this on. All right? Disable data file pre-allocation. I'd go ahead and just kind of leave that commented. File size for new databases. Specify a file size. Right? Personally, I'd just start off with wherever it is, 0, and let it just grow organically. Right? because it's all going to do whatever it's going to do. Account tokens, so if you've got some Mongo monitoring service, server name, tokens are basically a crypto set or a key that authorizes someone to actually perform the action. Server name, if you've got one for a monitoring server, it will actually shove stuff upstream. We don't have a Mongo monitoring server yet. Right? Ping interval, how many times? What's a ping? Ping interval. I'm going to check and see that you're alive every five minutes. And if you're not alive every five minutes, then I'm going to go and shut you down and bring someone else up. So you'd better respond within five minutes or you're going straight to your room and it's a timeout situation. Right? Monitoring servers can be just like mommy. Replication. If you're going to replicate, you can do slave and master. Right? And it works the same way you're going to be familiar with this from your LDAP. Right? Source, slave only, only master. 
and you can actually set them up so they're doing different things. Ports, address of the arbiter, an arbiter, right, is one that will basically go, nope, you're really the master and you're really the slave. And you're going to listen to me because if you two start duking it out to who's going to be the master, I'm going to step in, put you all in timeout, and call it good. All right? If you want to size limit in memory storage, if you have a lot of terabits of in memory storage, you can actually bring this whole database into memory, right? And then you can do really cool stuff with it. And that will also cut down on a lot of contention. You could bring a read only copy of your database into memory, let it write whatever it's got to write, and then refresh that read only in memory and then you're going a lot quicker. So there's some really cool things that you can kind of do with this. Does it kind of make sense? And then you go ahead and you save it off. And then restart to bring it in. Figures. I don't really want to do this right now. All right, let's see if we got it going. I have to figure that I do this wrong, right? Pseudo service MongoDB restart. There we go. And then with any luck. All right, that will work. HTTP diagnostic. There we go. And I'm in. So we had to go into MongoDB and do this. And this will kind of give you an idea of where you're at, your DB version, and all the rest of it. So it kind of makes sense? You guys good? Are you happy? Is life wonderful? All right. Any questions? This is your one chance for questions. Anybody bring donuts today? All right. So that's your diagnostics routine. That's your configuration. All right, so install and configuration, and you guys should be good. You only, you only uncommented one line. I only uncommented one line. Actually, a no, couple of lines. Couple of lines. I did a couple of lines. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. So are we good? Any other questions? All right, so that's that then. We're good.